What's going on? Tectonic Edge here. Just doing a quick game with an Eldrazi Tron deck. Um, looking for something to upload. Hopefully the new companion rules will be out tomorrow. And we can get back to doing some full leagues. Gonna mulligan this. Uh, it'll be a great hand, but it doesn't really ramp out in anything. I've had an expedition map too. So mulligan. Hope for something a little better. There's no lands in that. And we'll keep Tron in hand, plus Reality Smasher. So we'll keep pitching two cards, the Expedition Map, and the Surgical Extraction, possibly. Depends on how much we want to go for the Tron. Oh, you know what? We have Tron. I'm going to pitch the, the Eldrazi Temple. Just because we, we have a little bit of interaction. We'll see if it matters. Well, this seems familiar. All right, we got an Eldrazi Tron v Tron matchup. All right. We're going to surgical extract this just to see if we're dead or not. Uh, so we get to see their hand. Worm coil, worm coil, chromatic star, chromatic spear. All right, uh, probably not dead then, but that's definitely not the best. So he's going to get a, yep. This will be the worm coil engine. Makes sense, he's gonna go for a little bit of dig. Worm coil engine is gonna be hard to beat. Which of these are worse? Yeah, probably the worm coil still. Yep, so we are digging hard for little Karn. We played out the walking ballista because we're going to use it as a blocker. So they're going to swing with that worm coil. Then we're going to ping. And they won't gain the life. This does essentially refill their hand, which is not good. I haven't drawn another land yet. Hmm. 
Ooh, but they have a four mana play. Six man to play. We block, we ping. Draw an expedition map. That was a mistake. Yep, that was indeed a mistake. swing for here. Alright, there's his own blast zone. Okay, we're going to scoop to that. Yep, we shouldn't have played the blast zone. We should have just gone for the ghost quarter. always forget because I don't usually run it in my green Tron builds. So we just want to get some of the more ineffectual cards out of there. We'll bring in these. And we'll give this a try. We're definitely on the downside. Um, so Mono Green definitely has a better matchup against Eldrazi Tron because they've got bigger plays and they honestly, they assemble Tron more because it's more what they rely on. Uh, this deck doesn't necessarily need Tron to win, but against the bigger Eld or bigger Tron, we want it. Huh. 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 Yep, I gotta keep that. It's hard to say no to taking away Tron. Start off with the power plant. Go for the Radiant Fountain. They should Sylvan Scrying here, yep. Alright, 
right, well, that'll set us up with Eldrazi Temple for next turn. We're going to take their mine. They have tower, forest, big guys, uh, no intermediates. All right, I'm liking where we're at. So they're far away from any of their threats. They've got one search. Nice. So it becomes a race. Can I kill them before they can get enough mana to start playing anything? And honestly, if I can get one of these Congrate Creators online, yes I can. Oh, do I start building towards Tron here? Or... It's tempting, uh, because I can get, I'll get the Congrate Creator next turn. Yeah, I think we're going to start building towards Tron and just hope we draw into it. With four mana already in play, or potentially. So next turn we'll have four, get the Karn, and we'll start eating lands. There's the Sylvan Scrying. It's going to be a very slow kill, but we do have it, so they, they're going to crack the expedition map. Grabbing a Sanctum. We're going to use this ability. Grab the Liquid Metal Coating. And then we're going to start eating their lands next turn, which will be very hard for them to come back from. Do they have a five mana play? They do not. Um, yeah, we'll be taking the blast zone. Seems the correct one, because they would try and get it to where they could uh, blow up the liquid metal coating. Alright, he's going to scoop to that. Slow game got there. Any changes for game three? I don't believe so. We'll run it as is again. Well, I guess the dismembers really don't help us much. I guess I'd rather have the Ugans. Just because they're a threat. Dismember, what does it really remove in this matchup? It doesn't kill a worm coil. It may get a walking ballista. But yeah, Little Karn's definitely our best play in this matchup. 
the surgical extraction combo and with ghost quarter is just fun whenever you can get it off Admittedly, Karn has kind of... Okay, we keep this. It's turn two, Thought Not Seer, into turn three, Thought Not Seer. Yes. Um, but yeah, Karn Great Creator has kind of replaced the need for having uh, Crucible of Worlds, uh, just because it fills the same slot the Ghost Quarter Lock would have filled, uh, where we can destroy a land every turn, and it doesn't give them a land. So it's. I've seen a couple people comment that they like running... Uh, the Crucible Worlds, I like it too. It just feels like the if you're running uh, Congregate Creator, it feels extraneous. It does have that added benefit of letting you get lands back. So if you're in a land destruction heavy meta, it's always nice. There's his mine. Oh, they're on a mold of three. Um, that's going to be rough for him. Well, turn two Thought Not Seer into turn three Reality Smasher, Forest, Ancient Stirrings. We'll see what they grab. Chromatic Sphere. Probably going to play it out. Yep. Well, we get to find out what that one card in hand is. It's a forest. But yeah, this is going to be a rough game. Ooh, lucky draw. We're going to go for the damage route. There's something to be said for looking and seeing if they have... Um, they could have drawn perfectly tower plus threat, uh, but I'm going to wait one more turn for that second thought not seer and go in for as much damage as I can. Even if they have Karn, it doesn't really help them too much at this point. I think Worm Coil is their best play. Alright, they get an Expedition map. They get to crack the expedition map, grab the tower. Do they have any more plays beyond that? Yep. Go with the radiant fountain here. Another thought not seer. We'll take the Ugin. I don't think that was going to save him anyway. And swing for nine. If they top deck an O stone, I think that's their best draw. Uh, Karn doesn't save him at this point. A uh, little Karn might. Oh, no, they're just going to scoop. All right, well, there's the quick Tron v uh, Eldrazi Tron from the other side I only have. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I think it's either tomorrow or Friday that we'll be getting into the uh, com new companion meta where the companions are going to cost three. It'll be interesting to see that. Uh, Tectonic Edge, signing out.